is Jessica and I am here with Lovolution to share the daily good news, daily good news. So as typical Lovolution fashion, uh, we're all about sharing positivity, sharing about the good things happening around the world, the solutions that are making this world a better place, and now is no different. Anytime I go on the internet, whether it's uh, Twitter, Instagram, or maybe any Google <laughs> that I do, any website, any major media website that I go on, all you can hear about is, that's all I see, is, I'm not going to even say the word, because we've been inundated with it over the last few weeks, and it's not to say that it is not something serious, but it is proven that by focusing on the good and focusing on positivity, it is better for our overall well-being rather than spending our days focusing on the negativity. And it's not, to, it's not to say that negativity isn't happening, that there's not bad things happening, because there are. But there's also a lot of good things. And if we just spend all our day focusing on the bad, what about the good? Does it just not exist? Well, it does, and that's why I'm here to remind you. So let's get right to it. A city in the Netherlands, you, you checked. I try to Google how you say the, the city. I hope I did that correctly. Um, fun fact, Utrecht actually happens to be the fastest growing city in the Netherlands. Uh, according to a new article by The Guardian, every roof will be green. That means that either there will be solar panels on every roof or a lot of beautiful plants. The city actually started this last year with all of their bus stops. So right now, every single bus stop in that city, Utrecht, I hope I said it right. It has uh, like a garden on top. It has a bunch of plants on top. They started this last year. So the city's trying to be more environmentally friendly, which of course, that is a trend. We know it's extremely important right now for our environment that we actually take the time to do good things to it and for it and for our future of the planet and you and me. So yeah, that was what the city's doing, which is absolutely fantastic. And shout out to you, Trek, for uh, leading the way. Next up, we're gonna head over to um, Ambikapur, India. There's a cafe there, they call them the Garbage Cafe. Why do they call it the Garbage Cafe? Well, let me tell you. So basically the cafe is all about reducing plastic waste. They acknowledge that it is an issue in India. Plastic waste is not just an issue in India, it's an issue around the world, but this specific cafe knows that it's an issue, so what have they done? They have implemented an oh, amazing business model or an amazing what I would actually refer to as a barter system. So in exchange for a customer bringing in their plastic waste, the cafe will give them food. <laughs> like, what? How cool is that? So that city, Ambi Kapoor, actually, according to The Guardian, has been a big leader in terms of helping reduce plastic waste and they've been really doing an overall great job. So it's really cool to see a cafe doing something so like revolutionary. How often do you hear of cafes like, hey yeah, give me your plastic waste and I'll give you food. That's pretty cool. So shout out to, to that cafe in uh, Ambikapur, India. Some good news for the day. Then, take out my notes here. <laughs> Let's head over to Afghanistan. Ye Usually, under normal circumstances and under all circumstances, when you hear the, the name Afghanistan, sadly, the media has programmed us to believe that it's a really bad place, right? That nothing good happens. Well, I'm here to, to debunk that myth. There's some good happening in Afghanistan right now. Um, the New York Times actually just published an article. So there are landlords around Afghanistan that are waiving rent thanks to, again, I'm not saying the name, but thanks to what's happening right now, this I'm not gonna even say it. Uh, landlords are waving right in Afghanistan. There's a guy named Mohammed. He owns 10 shops. He was interviewed by the New York Times and he said yes, he waived the rent for all his 10 shops for this month. Um, and you know, if this continues, probably we'll do it for the next month as well. So that's really awesome, awesome thing to see because a lot of people are unfortunately struggling with what's happening. Um, there are tailors around Afghanistan that are actually handing out thousands of handmade face masks to help with you know what's going on. Then we have youth groups around Afghanistan delivering food to hospitals and to families. So there's a lot of good happening right now and that's just like a, a brief synopsis of what's going on. Again, this was reported by the New York Times. So if you wanna read more, head over to their website. 
Um, next, next good news, which is probably one of my favorite good news that I have reported on so far, is a Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. I hope I did that right. <laughs> In the Dakotas. Um, as you may or may not remember, maybe you didn't know about it, there was this huge issue with a pipeline being built through their land and it is proven that when you build these oil pipelines, what happens a lot of the times, the water of where the pipeline is being built gets impacted by the pipeline and oil can seep through, it affects the health of the people in that area and it's just overall no good. So since uh, Trump came into office and he decided to push through, you know, and, and expedite the building of this pipeline, so many environmental activists, protesters, the tribe itself were standing up and, and speaking out against it. And it was a big deal, um, as you again, may or may not remember. Well, <laughs> here's some good news amongst all the, the crappy stuff happening, right? Some good news is that a federal court has ruled that the pipeline cannot do anything right now until an environmental impact statement or an EIS has been completed. And according to research, that can take years. So the pipeline is officially <coughs> done. Hopefully um, when the environmental impact statement is completed, it is proven that the pipeline is not something that should be built and especially not on native land. So shout out to, standing, to the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. I'm very happy it's a victory for them and it's a victory for environmental activists around the world. Everybody who was extremely against that pipeline and knew that it was no bueno. There's our good news for the day. And then lastly, I wanna head over to the city of Atlanta. We have a guy named Terrence who now works with a nonprofit he used to be homeless himself. He had this amazing idea of building washing stations throughout the city. Basically, it's a spot for the homeless to go and wash their hands because as you know, if you're homeless, it can be very difficult to find a place to wash your hands. And not only now, of course, but always it's important to have good hygiene and practice good hygiene. So these stations are there to help them, especially during this time. It's free, they don't have to pay to use it. You know, they don't have to ask somebody, can I use it? Like it's just there throughout the city. There's about 15 built right now. Um, expect more to come. And that's it. That's that's your good news for today. It's really for this last week because I'm, I'm this is my first daily good news. And I want to do this every single day because every single day I have to hear about the bad news. I think it's extremely important me, for me to share uh, the good news every day to combat the bad news because that is why I started Levolution. I was tired of seeing mainstream media and all their propaganda and all of everything that they promote and it's never anything good. Like, why? Why do we always have to hear about the bad? It's it's not good for our hearts. It's not good for our overall well-being. So I love that there's good happening. I love being able to tell you about the good. And if you wanna tune in, make sure you hit subscribe. Go ahead and like this video, share it with your friends, with your family members, with your coworkers. I know you're all at home chilling right now and I'm sure you're just as tired as I am of hearing about. So <laughs> tune in to my daily good news. I will be back tomorrow. Instagram at LOV Evolution. Website is lovevolution.media. Go ahead, subscribe, like, and share. Again, thanks for tuning in. My name is Jessica. Sending love to all y'all. Peace.